closing out the first half is a 13-year-old junior reporter who has spent a lot of time in front of the camera, including as a finalist. And this is going to make us all groan because she's amazing. On CBC TV Canada's Smartest Person Junior, she's also a massive Harry Potter nerd, Hufflepuff for life, uh, and a Broadway fan. Give a warm welcome to Alexia Sabo. red button because there was one exactly like this on Canada's Smartest Person Junior and I never got to press it. So it's my chance now. <laughs> okay. Interrobank. Why should we care about it in 2019? Why should we use the Interrobank? Well, I'll tell you why. It's the only way to look sassy online. <laughs> Using a question mark and an exclamation mark, you can get across what you need to say. Are you curious or maybe a little bit puzzled why a 13-year-old is a speaker today? Well, let me tell you a little bit about me. And yes, I actually do know what I'm talking about, more or less. I'm Alexia, Calgary's junior reporter. My life as a junior reporter started about four years ago when I moved to Calgary. My mom saw an advertisement for Calgary's International Children's Festival, and she responded. After the auditions, I became the junior reporter for the Entertainment District. It was really fun getting to report on TV, but now I take to the social media daily to inform my followers about cool things to do in Calgary from a child's perspective. So punctuation matters to me. But let me tell you, the struggle is real. Being on social media means that I have to keep up with trends all the time and post new interesting content. But it also means that there are lots of pictures of me online. And that's me when I come across old photos. So cringy. But all the events and things I get to do make up for it. Social media calls for a lot of writing. I know that I use the Intero Bank all the time, for real. But social media is not the only place you can use an Intero Bank. Let's think of one of the most famous and well-known phrases that uses an Intero Bank. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> now, the real struggle is, should I use emojis or an Intero Bank? If I don't use any, I might seem too mean, especially if you're a teenage girl. If I use too many, I can seem over-exaggerated. Believe me, I get that a lot. Nowadays, it's about emojis and gifs and punctuation, not words. Talking about teenagers, we were not made to wake up at 7.30 in the morning. After staying up all night on social media, and then go to school and learn, then we are also expected to not talk to our friends. What? Yes, it's true that humans can say a lot without words. We have 43 facial muscles that can develop into 10,000 different expressions, plus hand gestures, body posture, and gaze. Okay, that's enough math for today. Being smart is something we have to learn. Our smartphones don't have to learn to be smart. We program them, us, the humans. So when are we going to learn how to make smart people? Well, I guess if I never went to school and learned, I wouldn't make it on Canada's Smartest Person Junior. Because I always did good in school, my mom thought, why not sign up Alexia to test her smarts on national TV? <laughs> After a series of interviews, I was the only Albertan that landed a spot amongst 12 young competitors aged 9 to 12 from across Canada who would compete for the title of Canada's Smartest Person Junior in a reality TV show. Throughout the six episodes, we engage in various challenges that test different aspects of intelligence. The only question I have throughout the show is, what was I thinking when I agreed to be on Canada's Smartest Person Junior? Now that, that was an interrobang moment. No, but seriously, the whole experience was an emotional roller coaster. There were happy moments, super exciting moments, moments of confusion, moments of questioning, moments of, um, okay, I wasn't expecting that, and moments of crying inside but putting on a fake smile. <laughs> But I guess our performance was stellar, as we have received some write-ups in the Toronto Star, Calgary's Herald, multiple radio, TV interviews, and the latest of our achievements are three award nominations for the Canadian Screen Awards, coming up at the end of the month. The truth is, I really appreciate being on the show, because I really want to inspire all the kids around Canada to embrace their smarts. Lots of kids are smart in different ways, but they just haven't embraced it, and they don't know it. But once you embrace your smarts, you can really do anything. Trust me. If I survive six episodes of having to be smart on a reality TV show, you can do it too. <laughs> Anyone can do anything. You just have to
have to put your mind to it. Just like my parents encouraged me to do things that make an impact on my life, I want to encourage my generation to not be afraid to put themselves out there and show the world what they're capable of. All you have to do is stay focused, concentrate on your goals, and try, try again. Just like I did when I was balancing... <laughs> these blocks in the physical challenge. Let me tell you, it was the hardest thing I had to do. Balancing blocks while walking on a beam, and there's these spinning things just knocking into the side of you. At that moment, I felt like it was impossible to do it. But I didn't give up, and I finished the challenge. So never give up. But if you are aiming for real goals, it will never be easy to achieve. I definitely had a lot of fun on the show, and I've met lots of new people because of it. One of the best reactions I've gotten was from one of my friends. She ran up to me at school and started screaming, You've met Paul from Kids Convenience? Why didn't you tell me? Oh my god, was he nice? Was he funny? Was he this? Was he that? Not one word about me being on the show. Love my friends. You see that? That was my reaction. No words. Just a Kanye stare. No, but really, I got so much support from so many different people, and I'm so grateful for that. I was overwhelmed by the number of people from the community who congratulated me and cheered me on throughout all this experience. Now, back to interrobangs. I think life would be better with more interrobangs. So go out and spread the interrobang like a social disease. What are you waiting for? Use the interrobangs daily and amaze your friends. And just like the interrobang went out with a bang and came out back with one too, I hope that I can do the same. Bang! I'm so happy I got to be part of the bang tonight and be among all these amazing speakers. What an awesome way to make my debut as a speaker on a cool theme like this, right? So anyways, let me know what you think at junior underscore reporter YYC on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook at Alexia YYC. Always got to self-promote. Let me know what some of your favorite and terrible moments are. I seriously